Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our Tiberborn update for Let's Play on Hard Mode with the Iron Teeth. Last episode we got everything started, got everything kicked off, and I thought we did pretty well for the first, I don't know, four and a half cycles. We're going to have to continue beefing up our, <laughs> beefing up our food supply, <laughs> beefing up our food supply, I guess, for lack of a better term. Because uh, right now we really don't have very much, we just have some kohlrabis here. We probably need to double or triple this in all honesty and take care of a couple other things as well before we really start to uh, expand a little bit probably should start flooding this central area as soon as we have the ability to actually manage getting down there right now we have a few more things that are uh, probably a little more important like you know food and lodging for beavers you know just just little stuff like that so we'll go ahead and get right on with it we're going to build another farmhouse up here on this side of the river. And that way, since we're going to be trapping a whole bunch of water up here during the next drought, whenever that will be, we'll be able to plant a whole bunch more crops up here and be in a much, much better spot. Spit. It's been a long day, friends, but we're here. <laughs> we'll be in a much better spot to, you know, actually survive because that's kind of important. At any rate, I'm just going to plant a bunch of kohlrabis until we have actual, you know, sustenance stored up somewhere. And this should be able to most places. Yeah, I actually wanted to leave this open here, so that's good that that is uh, not reaching all the way down there just quite. So we'll just plant all of that there. There is, I believe, yeah, this one square this will actually uh, plant in. So that's fine. We'll have them take care of that. And I don't think... Actually, this will reach all the way over there. So we could even... Uh, we could even get rid of this farmhouse. And put something else here. But I don't think we need to get rid of it right now. So that'll help our beavers survive a little bit. Whereas we have our... Oh, I love that sound. It's disgusting. This oil press doesn't have any canola seeds to actually, you know, press to make oil. So we should probably plant some of that, which we will do over here once we have everything else kind of planted, taken care of, and looking a little better. So of course, canola is going to take nine days to grow, so I kind of don't want to put it somewhere that might dry out. I think right now this is a reasonably safe place, but seeing how... Uh, this is likely to lose some water. Probably are going to want to put canola up here. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and uh, plant a little bit of this over here. I obviously haven't gotten around to finishing the farmhouse yet, but they should soon. I'm not going to go into corn or eggplant just yet because those can't really be used. Except for, uh, you know, the whole industrial farming bit a little bit later on in the uh, production chain here. So we'll have to be content right now with, well, all this other stuff. We've got these guys. And then, of course, all of our kohlrabis. We have our fermenters. We're fermenting very slowly, very poorly. So once the canola oil actually starts being produced from our oil press, actually we can go ahead and pause this. Don't have to devote somebody's manpower to it if we can't use it. <laughs> so we'll just stick that where there's the drought warning. Okay, cool. So uh, beginning of day eight is when all this water is going to go away. So now I actually wonder, I, I don't know that I'm gonna have time but if I did, I wonder, could I get this area flooded a little bit without it being a huge waste and having all the water flow out? Because I know down here, this is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying until we can dam that up. I don't think we can get over there in three days. Let's actually pause and take a, take a look at this in earnest real quick. Because we have limited beavers, we have limited resources in terms of wood. I know I could get this to flood just by removing this levee piece right here. 
and that might be nice. But as soon as this little pool fills up, it's just going to spill all the way out here. And uh, while well, we don't know how long the drought's going to be, but it, it is hard mode, so they can get pretty long. You know, not as long as the 49 day super droughts we had in the last uh, major playthrough. But still enough to, you know, kind of give you pause about wanting to have just a one deep pool of water. So we'll have to think about that a little bit. Actually, now that we're paused, I had kind of forgotten about the, uh, the mangrove trees. But you guys reminded me in the comments, these things have to be grown in water and they can produce some seeds or fruits or something after uh, they're fully grown if you don't chop them down. So I think it would probably behoove us to plant some of these in a place that can be flooded, like, I don't know, maybe uh, right around here, perhaps. And a lot of these trees are, in fact, about to grow. So if we were to do that, and then maybe come over here, and, I don't know, dam this area off, might just be a, uh, might just be a worthwhile endeavor. I don't know, what do you think? I'm not going to know what you think until after I post the video because that's how YouTube comments work. But I think it would be a good start to get this flooded once these trees are grown. Again, most of these are very close. I'm not going to cry about losing some of them because, well, it's birch and we're not that hard up for wood. So uh, I think what we'll want to do is just let them start building a regular levee here. And I am going to do a levee instead of a dam because, well, we don't need the water coming out this way yet. And there's only 12 logs, so less to be lost when we eventually demolish it anyway. But we'll get them to uh, instead plant some mangrove trees here so we can, you know, actually make use of the space for something beneficial. I think there's a lot to be happy about with that. And here comes this other farmhouse. So they can get started on that right away. In fact, there's really no reason not to just go ahead and plant a whole bunch of canola here. Because they can just walk through it. It's not like that makes it inaccessible to go anywhere else. It's just these little uh, little pine seedlings. I don't want to deal with these. 78%. We'll leave that one. I guess we could leave... Um, uh, okay, let's let's leave this one. It's already 87%, but this guy at 8%? No, 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 no. No, we don't want that. We just got to get these guys to start, you know, actually chopping stuff down. Now, it would be it would be cool if we could get this whole thing finished. Oh, I don't know if we can have 71% of 9 days. I guess that's technically, technically before the drought comes. But I don't know, man. I kind of don't want to chance it. And it is just one log, so, you know, really in the grand scheme of things, it's a non-issue. Oh, it's also not growing because it's drying out. All right, yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I mean, you're, you're gone. <laughs> I, I don't have the time or energy to waste on uh, saving one log. Sorry, not happening. Boy, this one is uh, 52 horsepower, huh? So he must be feeling pretty good. Well, except for the whole not having shelter thing. We'll try and fix that this episode. I can't really uh, promise, promise, but I think we might be able to make that happen. Okay, so they're just about... I don't know. I guess a little more than two-thirds of the way if it's... Okay, now, now they're almost done. All right, so once these are all taken care of, I guess we can just go ahead and get off of single speed. Yeah, we'll let them take care of that, start cutting these trees down, and then we'll flood it, and we'll plant some mangroves, and then hopefully the drought doesn't last long enough to let those dry out and die. Would be, uh, sure would be nice. Alright, so this should be almost instantaneously built, because, well, we have everything stored up, and we're not too far away from anything, so... That's looking okay. How close are we? Okay, I can give them a little bit more time. 
Is all of this accessible from the forester? It sure is. Cool. That's going to be a nice little spot for the mangroves. Yeah, let's just get all this stuff harvested. Where are my... I actually don't have... I don't have a lumberjack flag anywhere over here, do I? I don't think I do. So... Oh, no, I definitely do. I Wow. Wow. I was looking at two of them, and I completely missed it. Oh, man. This is why sleep is important, kids. Don't, don't be like me. Sleep more than four hours a night. So this area up here, I mentioned earlier that I was kind of glad that this wasn't plantable because what we can do is we can actually expand our uh, water wheels here to come up here and then around this corner to give us a whole lot more power from all of the water coming down this cliff. The kind of unfortunate part is that it's going to take a bunch of resources, well, relative to where we are early in the game, it's going to take a bunch of resources for us to actually, you know, get this done. So I think I want to actually do a staircase here instead of uh, having to rely on anything else. We can't make the large water wheels yet, but we can find a choke point and build across four of them like this. I'll just build those three for now. Alright, how are we doing on cutting these trees down? Are these growing anytime soon? Mmm, not soon enough. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of all the trees. They're just birches. Don't cry for the birch trees. They wouldn't cry for you. We can actually go ahead and flood this. Because the beavers don't care. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, we can look at our mangroves. I don't really have uh, anywhere to stick them right now. I guess the uh, spots that are currently open are fine. Do we have anybody in the forester? We sure do. So we'll let them get started planting and we'll fill in the rest of the spots as those are removed. So that's looking good. What do we have? Okay, they're they're getting logs here, so that's good. We're growing our kohlrabis. We're growing our canola. If this drought isn't super long, we probably are going to be completely fine. We have water storage. We probably should have some more. Uh, I can unlock the medium tank, but I don't have enough uh, other stuff, so I guess we're just going to keep building small ones. It is what it is. Just have those set up to be water storage. Our population is not huge, but we do want to be careful. We want to make sure that we're not setting ourselves up to fail. How many do I have in the district center again? Only two. All right. Okay, probably don't need uh, that power wheel for right now. No available workers for the gear workshop. That's fine. I don't want them in there anyway. So no uh, no problems there. Mangrove seedlings looking good. Let's um, unmark these for cutting because we don't want uh, want the mangroves to be cut down. We want to harvest them for their food or their eligible uses as food. I have any more spots I can stick these in right now? Or they they still haven't uh, gotten rid of the rest of the stuff? That's fine. We'll have time. But now that this is taken care of, what I was thinking we could just have kind of like a, a tiered system just to kind of keep everything filled up, just cascade down and down and down. So that way we don't end up losing a ton of water if we uh, end up filling this, which we will eventually. But this could be a kind of gradual project just to come down here. Of course, we're not going to get there just yet, but I do want to go ahead and put this in here. At least a couple of these spots. It doesn't have to be super fancy or anything. We probably don't actually need four wide 
the dams either. We could probably just get by with two. I think that's probably the smart way to do it. I just did the same exact thing. All right, levees is what we wanted. That's fine. So what we'll do there is we'll just go ahead and stick in. Actually, this would be smarter to do like this, I think. So that way everything is kind of in the same general spot. We could actually have this connect up right there. Not that we have to worry about pathing anymore. At least for distance purposes. The game doesn't punish you for it. All right. 0.1 days before the drought starts. How are we looking? We have, uh, well, we're not completely full on water, but it is looking all right. We only have to have 20 beavers fed and watered, so yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking okay. We'll get there. At least we have the canola planted now. I had somehow managed not to do that early on, so I think we're going to be fine. Looking good. I uh, can't plant any more of this, can I? No, I've already done those. All right, well, all we can do now is wait. Let's see how long this drought's going to be. Come on. 11 days. Hmm. All right. Well, it is hard mode, so I don't, I don't know what I expected, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so 11 days. Uh, hard mode, I believe it doubles the consumption, so each beaver is... I don't even remember what the base stats are. It's either two or four food and water per day for adult beaver. If it's four, then we need uh, we need 80 per day. That seems like too much. That seems like too much. If it's 80 per day, then we're kind of uh, we're kind of not looking good. <laughs> but if it's 40 per day, that's a little more doable. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn off our pump here. Because this is what keeps our crops watered. But uh, this one down here, we could still have, I think, one running. So I'll leave that one going all by itself. We have that weird vortex happening again right here. We just need some more wood. All right, so that's looking okay. I guess they've decided they don't want to uh, come and take out these things, huh? Well, that's fine. I'm not going to pull them away from building these uh, water wheels. So that really is not that important. We just want to get these, some of these, growing. Except I do have an extra beaver, so I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the district center to go ahead and uh, start constructing or deconstructing, as the case may be. These are all in range for cutting. That's good. Uh, farmers are looking, uh, looking pretty good here. I'm going to go ahead and plant some more canola now that this is a little bit more accessible. Yeah, I'll just have this whole backside all be canola. We have these little little seedlings. How close is this one? 88%? Okay. Doesn't look like 88%. That's a real small tree. Uh, we should... Okay, it's going to be another five, six days before we get canola. But when we do, we can put it in well, it has to go in the oil press. Oh man, what a terrible sound. Sorry for those of you with headphones. <laughs> the uh, canola seeds, of course, get pressed into canola oil, which we can then put in our fermenter to make fermented soybeans. That's fun. And then I think, uh, yeah, we can also do mushrooms, but we can't do the mushrooms until we get to the, uh, where is it? Uh, hydroponic gardens. We have to have metal for that. Which, again, new uh, district or district list mechanics, I guess, uh, indicate that we could very well just come over here right now and do it. Not have to worry about putting a second district in, but we are still a very small beaver colony. And I feel like that would be stretching us a little too thin at this exact moment. Alright, so why are you thirsty? You really shouldn't be thirsty. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of water. All right, breeding pods are doing their thing. That's working okay, I guess. Still nothing else I can plant here, huh? That's fine. They got their own stuff to take care of. 
Now, if I can get this finished, that is going to be nice because then we can actually power everything instead of just doing things the dumb way. Yeah, I know this is not a super optimal layout, but it is early game and it is hard mode, so we, we just kind of need to take what we can get. I think in some ways this is act actually harder in regular hard mode than the harder mode that I was playing before. Because that one, you know, you had, uh, I had it set where you could have, I think, between 10 and 14 days of uh, temperate season. This one you can have as few as three or four, which uh, uh, it's a little, a little too much. A little too much difficulty for me. At least uh, to feel super comfortable doing stuff, but we're going to be fine. We are, after all, seasoned Timberborn veterans at this point, and for us to be uh, afraid of a challenge is just kind of not in the DNA of how we operate doing stuff here. So I think I uh, probably am not going to be able to use these stairs after this goes in. Oh well, I'll just move them somewhere else. Just turn them 90 degrees this way, that's fine. But I'm not worried about it. We'll just have them build off from the shore. And that'll be really nice to have that taken care of. Then they can come over here and get rid of these stinking trees. But we actually have fermented cassavas. We have our kohlrabis. We're okay. We're looking good. We just need to kind of better organize our food storage. Because right here we have a whole thing for kohlrabis, but we don't ever have them stored here because they can't uh, can't actually. Uh... Oh, I forgot about this new uh, supply thing. I never really. I thought about trying to figure that mechanic out. We're going to have to at some point. But I don't want that to be right now. Because we we got to still get this colony off the ground, you know. Not uh, not the easiest thing in the world early on. I just want them to go ahead and finish this. And then this whole thing so we can move on past that. We're going to have... Uh, well, I guess the tree farming is fine for right now. But we can start growing some other stuff here if this is going to be basically indefinitely trapping water. I don't know at this point what other crops we can put in because the corn, again, we're not going to be able to do anything with corn until we have our food factories. Which, again, we cannot build because we don't have the metal or any of that stuff. What else can we get into? Because there's really not a ton without, uh, without expending a ton of science points. That, again, we just don't really have a ton of. We just have this one inventor doing their best to get something for us. We do need to build barracks. That I can promise you we're going to do. I just have to feel like spinning the logs is worth it. And right now it's not. We have all this other stuff to take care of first. And not sleeping in a bed is not going to kill the beavers. Not that easy. So if we just get the rest of this put in, should be looking okay. How are we doing on our canola? 56%. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn on their turbo speed here. Get this last little bit finished up. Connect everything. Should be, hopefully, generating a little bit more power from our, uh, our disaster of a, a vortex right here. I am beginning to become slightly concerned about the fact that the water is this low with eight days left. But... I don't know. I think it'll be fine. Eventually we are going to want to dam this. Maybe figure out some way to put power wheels in the uh, edge of that to generate power. But that's going to take a while to get that all uh, taken care of. I'm thinking maybe some sort of a multi-tiered uh, set up that doesn't have any actual dams. It's just a cascading series of levees that we can just put in these little compact water wheels. Or if we are feeling uh, adventurous, I'm not going to research right now because that would be a waste of science at this point. But uh, if you remember, I think it was one of the first Iron Teeth playthroughs we did on this channel. I can't remember what series it was. It was one of those I made a big uh, back and forth like a zigzag pattern uh, power generation thing with the enormous water wheels. And that took a long time to build and a whole lot of wood, but it ended up working out pretty well. I think something on a much smaller scale here would do similar things. 
as well as getting uh, gravity batteries coming off of these cliffs around the outside would probably be pretty smart. And if I could get some over here without even building up, that would be nice. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, look at this. Okay, we can plant a bunch of trees. All right, let's go. Get these things planted. They somehow have not... Oh, I didn't mark that one for cutting. Or removal, rather. Right, that's fine. We don't have any storage space for logs, really? Oh, it's full. We Yeah, we need massively, massively improved storage. We'll have to take care of that pretty soon today. Right now, that gives them a little bit more stuff to do. Uh, I guess if we really wanted... Really wanted to do something that would be smart. We'd plant some oak trees. Which I guess probably down here would be a good spot. We just have to get the rest of these plants. Those are all uh, dried out and dead. So what can I plant here? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and plant these. We're not probably not going to see them today if they're a 30-day growth cycle. But we're going to be glad we got these things, I'll tell you that. Now, why are my kohlrabis not going in here? Our farmers are just a little too busy, I guess, to start moving stuff. Accept goods, obtain goods. Yeah, we don't have a hauling post. Supply goods. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. That's what that's for. Because so I read the patch updates and stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. You can supply stuff, but, you know, you never really actually uh, think about what that means. Oh, boy, this is going to be empty. Going to be empty. Don't like that. Oh, man, can I? Oh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want this to dry out. I don't know how fast mangrove trees will die out of water. I would be very, very irritated if they actually died before I had the chance to actually, you know, do anything. This water is evaporating a lot faster than I thought. Oh, we're also pumping it. So let's um, stop that. And hopefully we don't run out of water here, because that would be, be pretty stupid. Be pretty dumb. All right, so this is now fully connected here. So I'll supply another, hopefully around 150, 160 horsepower. Again, these are not super, uh, super powerful. But every little bit does count. And that is what we're going to stick with. I just want to know why there's no kohlrabis here. Are these guys just too busy? They must just be too busy. Now, can I expand our canola up here? Probably would be... Probably be smart. This is going to reach all the way. I don't think they can actually plant this entire thing, at least without the water being a little... Oh, hey! Here we go. Some of it's actually ready for harvest. So that's exciting. That means we can... Mm, that means we can turn this bad boy on. And start pressing the seeds. Even though we have... Only 9% of the power. Every little bit counts, right? And we're using the, uh, the campfire, huh? Very cool. Always love a little detail, stuff like that. Alright, four days left. How are we looking on water levels? Mm, it's not looking great. Not looking great. Oh, it's going to be another 10 days to get these... Mangrove fruits. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we definitely want these. But, oh, that's going to be a bummer if these die and I have to wait another 20 days to get fruits. That would be an absolute catastrophe. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. We uh gathering up these. Yes, we are. That's looking good. How have we... Uh... Mm. Okay, I think we're almost done with our first pressing. There we go, there's our first little bit of canola oil that will then be put into the fermenter with the soybeans. We don't really have the the manpower, the beaver power, the desire to 
to get all of that stuff built just yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down to two in the district center, and I'm going to turn on this fermenter so we can start making our fermented soybeans. Now, it's going to take a while because we're relying on this one glitchy water wheel with a 19 horsepower to run our entire mechanical energy setup here. So, you know, things uh, could be going... Oh, they're dying. Uh, oh, okay, good. They're not going to die for six days. Oh, man, I was about to be deeply upset. Okay, so this says it is out of water, will die in 16 days. This says it is drying out and will die in... Okay, so if the, if the soil is watered but not submerged, then you have over two weeks. If the soil is dry and not submerged, then, well, it couldn't be wet and dry at the same time. Oh, that's a philosophical debate. The, um, yeah, avoid this. But we only have two days left, so I think we're going to be fine. Obviously, the key is going to be not letting these dry out in the first place. But that's going to be kind of hard with longer drought cycles. We're going to have to figure out a way to have uh, better control over our water levels. I actually don't know if these can be planted too deep in uh, in water. That is too deep, at least. T W O, not T O O, deep. T W O, deep. I'm going to plant a couple more of these oaks here. All right, and we're thirsty. We have 1.6 days. How thirsty are we? Because if we're not, if we're not super ultra mega thirsty, then I think we're just going to deal with it. Because... Oh, our kohlrabis are going to die. I don't want that. Harvest your kohlrabis. Harvest these two, three, however many it is. I think it's two. Or not. Yeah, these these are definitely dead. That's fine. So we've cut these trees down. They can't be replanted because there is no, uh, there's no water, which, you know, makes sense. How are we feeling on our thirsty front here? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I, uh, if I let this go, because we're going to get water in less than a day anyway. Uh, canola died. That's unfortunate. How are we? Okay, we got fermented soybeans. That's looking good. So, okay. Yeah, two out of 20 have had fermented soybeans. So that's looking all right. We can take advantage of the fact that this is now... Uh, dry, come in and replace these with dams. No, I don't want that to go there. As long as they can actually, you know, build this. I'm gonna prioritize those two. Because then, as the water comes in, it can cascade down here, and then down here. And I think I can get this to the point where we can actually plant stuff down here these uh, mangrove trees. We just don't have super optimal pathing right now for our forester, but if we do that... Okay, we gained all of one square. Uh, I guess that's not a... not the best place to do that. Maybe it's because of the line of sight thing. I think that's... Somebody said a long time ago that's how that worked. So if we put ourselves a beaver eyes view, I guess they could, they really can't only see these squares, can't they? Well, that's fine. Oh, and all the canola died over there. That's uh, annoying. But, 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 look at this. And now we have water here. So that's fun. And we'll be able to, yeah, fill this up a little bit. We'll finish putting all of our uh, levees here. That's going to be nice. I think instead of having the stairs here, we're going to want them... Uh, I'm going to try putting the stairs up here. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, 
Hopefully it does. I think we might stand a decent chance. Now, of course, the inherent problem with how this is set up is this does have to be full to go through the dam, which means this is only going to get water if this is completely full, and this is only going to get water if this is completely full. So it is a, a very much cascading uh, set of dams here. But, you know, that's okay. I think that is just fine. We're going to want to really be careful about hoarding water in here. So as soon as we can get... Oh, I've got stuff to unlock water dump. That's fine. We'll do that. I'm going to put in... Uh, I think probably right here, actually, in the corner would be a good spot. Put in a uh, levee. Then a water dump on top of it. I know this is not the... Uh, not the most ideal setup, but we don't have our mods and we don't have the other stuff. So we do what we can with what we have. And I guess I can just plant more canola here. That's fine. This tree still hasn't finished growing. That should keep this nice and hydrated, even in a drought. And in the absence of water back here, most likely. Got a nice amount of power now, 340-ish. Looking good. We don't have to spend a beaver in the power wheel, so that's nice to see. And we got a pretty robust food supply. Liking to see the kohlrabis being stored. We have these other things as well, so that is looking quite nice. So I think we can actually kind of uh, devote a little bit of time, resources to maybe coming over here to get some metal. Now let's try to think of a route. Talking about routes. We got a couple different options. Of course, we have all of our berries here. Why are we all... Okay. We're all thirsty because I turned off all the pumps. And you don't want that to happen. So let's, let's make our inventor the absolute lowest priority for right now. Get these uh, beavers pumping. Get them going while we think about our routes. Uh, we can go straight down through here and then kind of uh, meander our way kind of up this hill. I think that would be the most direct route from the district center and probably probably the one that makes the most sense. We don't have to worry about stuff. It's just what's going to be the most convenient to uh, actually, you know, start building. So I'm not afraid of... a. Uh, Something being a long distance is just it's just going to get a little annoying to uh, be able to, you know, actually manage. So I think for the time being, let's just try to focus on getting into the general area. What's going to also require the least amount of really stupid construction to get to? Okay. I, I guess this is hard mode. We have three days left. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I think if I'm judging the distance here right, I think right here would not be a bad spot to put in some stairs. I really miss the ladders mod. I really, really miss the ladders mod. Mm, I was one... One off. One off. Well, that's fine. We'll just put that there. And they should be able to get over here. That's going to take them a while to build, and I don't really want them to focus on that. Oh, good. We can plant stuff down here. Good, 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 good. Let's put in some mangroves. All up in there. And these are fully grown, and we're a third of the way to some delicious mangrove fruits. So that's nice to see. Now, I do think we're going to want to put in a dam and another dam right here, because if we segment this water supply off from here, we can actually keep pumping. Because most of this down here is, well, right here is too deep. So that would uh, kind of protect things. And still keep some water in here without uh, having to sacrifice our pumping capacity. I cannot wait until we have dynamite to blow all this way deeper. But for right now, we don't. And we haven't been storing enough water because I was kind of negligent. So are we, uh, yeah. 
let's let's get our pumps and keep our pumps going here. Good news is we have tons of food, absolutely tons of food, which is excellent, very good. So if we're gonna have water divert down through here, then we probably don't want these to be dams. We probably want these all to be levees and try to force the water to actually keep this more full. So I'm not going to do it right now because we're going to lose water supply, but during the drought, once it goes down far enough, I think we're going to replace... Okay, we might be able to leave one as a dam, but we really want the water flowing through here instead. How many source blocks do we have? We have five, six? We have five. Oh, that's a nice sound. We hadn't clicked on this before. That's new. So I guess I'll leave two here. Probably would be smart. We've got most of these uh, trees planted. I think they're in the middle of uh, taking care of that. Yep, they sure are. Cool. That is nice to see. Now our water supply is about where it's supposed to be. We actually uh, were a little low on population because we had to stop this for a little bit because we didn't have the water to uh, keep up with it. But I think we're doing fine. We still don't have a huge supply of wood. I think it's about time to put in a barrack. What say you? So let's see. If I put this in a good spot, I can actually build on top of it. Not that we really need to be worried about space because, um, yeah, we've we've got plenty of that. 13 days. Welcome to hard mode again. All right, so that's fine. We really, really need this to be dumping immediately there we go Man. we really want this to be automated again but I didn't build it the right way to do that without having to do additional excavation. So we won't do that. Instead, we will pause this for right now. And see how this is looking. Good, they got this built. So now we can just keep on pumping and not really have to worry about it. Although I think I am going to stop for right now just to save the water as long as we can. 12 days left is not going to be enough to get this to evaporate to any appreciable degree. But if we pump it, it will definitely be gone. So let's go ahead and put in some more oaks here because we have these spots we hadn't filled up yet. We have mangrove fruits. Are we close? 69%. Nice. Yeah, we should have some fruits pretty soon, pretty soon. Now, let's take a look at the rest of these uh, food factories again. I know this takes metal. We, we're not there yet. But we can make something with corn. Packaged corn. We have our eggplants. Packaged eggplants. And then... What is that bottom one? Is that mushrooms? Must be. So none of these actually have anything to do with the fruits. I think the fruit is just a, uh, a consumable that you can... Uh, gather with a gatherer flag. Where is our closest gatherer flag, by the way? Is it... Where is it? Right here? Oh, they can't reach any of those. Hmm. That is unfortunate. We're going to have to put another one in. And this will cover all of it. Alright, that works. I'll put that there. And then... I'm not going to replant these berry bushes right now, but we will probably need to at some point. I'll go ahead and put a uh, lumberjack flag over here as well so they can take care of that when the time comes. Now, in terms of construction, we're missing our planks because we're very, very power handicapped at the moment. I don't have beavers to spare or I would consider putting one in the power wheel. You know, actually, 
we don't really need to worry about construction right now, so I guess I'll just put one in the district center and we'll open up the spot on the power wheel. That way, at least we can make a little bit more. Oh, uh, now there's nobody working in the lumber mill. Okay, oil press, oil press. I think we're probably, oh, we don't have any more storage anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the uh, priority on that. We just need more beavers, man. And we need to have more storage for stuff. So I guess we, we really do have the resources to actually, you know, take this seriously at this point and put in some good storage. So we have this space right here. But a bunch of medium warehouses start moving things to be a little bit more, uh, you know, intelligently laid out. Oh, that's algae. That's right. That's the other thing on the uh, hydroponic farm or whatever the thing's called. All right, so we have our storage for our berries here. We probably shouldn't have that be berries so close to the middle of the town center, except it is right next to the breeding pod, so maybe that's okay. Kohlrabis are there. Fermented kvassas, cassavas, whatever the actual name of the thing is, is fine there. Fermented soybeans, we find there. Canola oil probably is going to have to go in a tank, isn't it? Let's uh, double check that. Yep. Okay, but these are empty. D. Canola oil storage should probably actually be, mm, yes, closer to that guy. So let's put in a couple of small tanks right here just for canola oil. Uh, we're going to have coffee later too, which is exciting. But we'll put canola oil there. That is kind of in the general area. I guess it's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what we can do? No, 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 no. We have technology. Let's put this here and have these for water. We can put this right next to the fermenter that actually uses it. So that would be a very smart use of resources there. Love to see that. So that can now be stored there. Looking good, looking good. We're, we're being smart now. And then this last one can be for our fruits. Mango fruits, yep. We have a lot of food, man. If only we could get these beavers to, you know, actually breed in the breeding pods. I know as soon as we start building a uh, lot of housing, they'll live longer. So I'm, I don't think we need to build another breeding pod just yet. But we do have kind of a construction backlog here. So if we put in barracks, I don't know if that would slow anything down. I also don't know if that's a great spot for them to go because it's six wide. Let's just put a couple of them right there. That way we have access to these other things. We could put some stairs here even if we wanted to. See, we're making progress. It's just not super fast. It's just the way it is. There's no more goods to uh, cut, so let's get rid of that guy. We got a lot of other space to plant on too. So I think, uh, let's see, we're probably still pretty far away from the food factory, so I don't want to plant any, any corn or eggplant. And we also have a, we have a ton of food. So I, I don't really know that we need to plant anything else at this exact moment. We can't even really harvest all this. We need, over here in the general vicinity of... We need to plant, plant, we need to build a uh, storage for the seeds. So those are easy, ready-to-eat foods. Why don't we put in a couple of those smaller warehouses right down here underneath? Or, or, we can do that. I like that idea much better. Then I can put in some sort of, oh, I have to unlock all these, that's right. Um, okay, shrub is the hay, now up to six, that's nice. Putting something in the middle here, we'll leave this open for right now. But this can end up being, where's my canola seeds? Soybeans. There we go, we'll put those there. And we'll just have this loop around back. 
think. Yeah. I'm going to turn the uh, pumps back on. And by the pumps, I mean those two and not that one. Because we're now about out of water. But it won't suck up any of this stuff, so that's that's nice. Yeah, see, now, now we're starting to get somewhere. Food storage is actually uh, probably a little overkill for right now, but that just means we're going to be that much better when we actually have more beavers stick around and not, you know, die at a super young age because they've been sleeping outside for their whole lives. Exposure kills. Ironically, beavers, who are animals who live their entire lives in nature. But hey, it's just a game. We're not going to nitpick. I really could use more beavers, though. We've we've been shuffling around the same 15, 16, 17 population for the past episode and a half. So I'm uh, a little eager to move on past that. Eager beavers, imagine that. Okay, mangrove fruits should be able to be filled up now if we actually have our gatherer. Oh, there's nobody working here. Well, what we'll do with that information... Gonna pause the lumber mill. We're gonna have somebody actually working here, gathering up all the fruits. There should still be uh, some of these things that we can harvest. Looks like. Now, Mr. Gatherer, why are you not gathering? I guess I don't really need to. Uh, Prioritize it. That's the only thing that's right next to them, but. Oh well. Okay, 11 out of 40 logs. So, um, I don't have extra beavers, which is eternally frustrating. Because I really could use more than one of the district center to build with. But hey. It is what it is. We are making progress, though. We are very slowly kicking and screaming our way toward getting some of this metal. I don't know if we're going to get that in this episode. Because we're coming up on a good stopping point at the end of this uh, end of this drought. You know how I love to keep things relatively uh, organized here. In terms of stopping and starting points. So we'll see. It sure would be nice to have our uh, stuff more or less completely figured out. Yeah, here come the mangrove fruits. So yeah, food, for all intents and purposes, right now food is solved. Water is the bigger problem, which is uh, a little irritating, but we'll be fine. We just, we really need to have water sucking out of the too deep part right here, which means we probably, probably need to build some platforms here. But I don't have the double platforms unlocked, and that's 150 science. But realistic, what else am I going to be researching right now? There's really, uh, can't get to paper yet. So, you know, we're going to use these anyway. I'm going to research the double platforms. And I'm going to stick uh, two. Now, before I do that, which side, no, get out of here. Which side does the pump come out on? Oh, yes. Okay, good. I only have to build six of these. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Love to see it, folks. We're going to build those right there, and then we can retire these. And that way we can always be sucking out of the deepest part of this area and not be bound by all the other uh, garbaggio here. 2.2 days left, and we sucked all the water out. And all the soybeans are dead again, which is very annoying. So yeah, this um, this deep water pump is uh, going bye-bye. We're going to plant some stuff there. That is very disappointing. But the good news is beavers aren't going to die in two days without water. It's just uh, kind of really stupid that that's the way this has to go. Because pretty soon we're going to get to the point where we don't have any... Uh, don't have any time to really fill the stuff back up. Which is annoying and unfortunate. 
I'm sure some of you probably saw this happen before I noticed it, which is uh, commendable at this point, I, I assume. Man, I'm just so bummed about this. All the soybeans are dead and they take... Well, I guess they don't really take that long to grow. It's just it's just annoying. It's eight days. At least we have plenty of food. Oh, now we're all thirsty. We're all thirsty. We're not we're not deadly thirsty though, so that's uh that's some sort of solace, I suppose. And we're not all homeless. Only half of us. <laughs> oh no, come on. Got point nine days left. And our some of our canola has died. Man, it just the the droughts are just hard. And they're only gonna get longer from here, which is kind of the uh oh no, here we go. All right, these oak trees hopefully will last a little longer. 14 days, that's fine. Oh, and all these are dead. Oh, come on. All right, we absolutely have to have a water dump in the center here. Absolutely a non-negotiable have to have it. But where can I even put this thing? Because it's going to take so much space. It would take up a huge amount of space. But it, it would really have to be right around here. It'd have to be. And I just don't know where would be the best spot. I guess now if all this is dead anyway, it doesn't really matter. So let's, uh, let's just go for broke. And, oh man, I just, I wish I had dynamite. That would be so much easier. It'd be so much easier. So I need it to have, uh, stairs access to somewhere. Oh, this is not the kind of thought experiment I want to be doing while I'm trying to record this and not look like an idiot. Oh, uh, I guess it's I guess it's just going to have to be something like this. And we'll just put in our water dump. I guess... I guess it's going to have to be here. It's, it just takes up so much space. So much space, because I, I really can't... I uh, really can't get away with anything, can I? There's not really a... Uh, Oh, I want my curved stairs back. No. <laughs> I used to think people that complained about not having mods were crybabies. Well, who's the joke on now? It's me. It just goes to show, folks, don't judge people until you live a, live a little bit of time in their shoes. Anyway, now that we've lost all of our crops except our canola up here. We can finally do what I should have done this entire time. Oh, man. Oh, and I didn't do this either. Hmm, so now... Now I'm in... Now I'm in some... Some stuff here. Oh, that's not even rotated the correct... I am not... I'm not doing stuff right here. Alright. Let's, um... Let's definitely have them go do that other stuff first. Uh, we'll unpause that immediately. Yeah, start pumping that water because we are uh, we're we're some thirsty boys and girls over here. Ooh, you know what? I was not thinking this through when I opened this up. Because now we're not going to get any water through here. Well, that's fine. They're not going to die immediately. They'll be okay. We just have to get uh, a lot more water taken care of. How are we... That's a new sound. Yeah, some of us are looking a little, uh, little rough in terms of our water supply here. We definitely don't want that. Definitely don't want that. So remember when I said we'd end the uh, end of the cycle? I lied. Just now I gotta fix this or it's gonna drive me insane. Or the next time we can actually play this. We definitely need them to come in and finish this. Or we think about doing anything else. Alright. Good news is at least we have oh, there's a plant here. Alright. Um I have to I have to un uh I have to unplant this. Or else it's not gonna let me uh build this thing, is it? 
All right, come come unplant the kohlrabi right here. Just 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 come get it. I don't I don't care. Just come get it. Anybody? Nobody. Oh, we have a well-being of seven. How are we doing on our? Uh, okay, that's still looking okay. It's looking okay. All right, get out of there. You don't need that. Go do something else with your life, like uh, getting this kohlrabi out of here. All right, I'm gonna hire somebody else here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. Man, we just need more beavers. Come on, <laughs> we can't do this all by ourselves. Well-being of eight. That's uh. Progress, I suppose. Okay, we can unpause. Unpause that, get someone to finish that thing up. Get our water dump in place, although that's no longer paramount importance. It is uh, just important. I think yeah, they're going to finish all this first. And we, we're just hurting for populate. That's the hardest part. It's not, we, we can have food, we can have water, we just... We don't have enough bodies to actually do the work. I really don't want this to have the drought warning as soon as that comes up, but you know how it works. And you know that's gonna be you know that's gonna be what happens. So I guess in a way it's a good thing we don't have a ton of beavers because we would almost certainly die immediately because we didn't have enough water saved up. Oh what a what a blunder this is, huh? Well, good news is this is just about done and this should be able to uh, start dumping in just a second. We are pumping water. It is working as intended. So, you know, it could be worse. I think we've solved for right now the majority of the issues. And this does seem to be a little bit more robust uh, water flow coming out of this way right here. Yeah, so that's good. Now we just have to have our uh, water pumps that we're putting in here. Okay, and this is this is full up. All right, I'm going to pause this now just because we don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this filled up while we have the opportunity to. Ten will being nice. Yeah, there's the drought warning. I knew it. All right, it's going to be day eight again. So we'll, we'll want to get this as filled up as we possibly can. How's our construction looking on these? And we don't have planks because I turned off the plank thing. All right. So we're in, uh, we're in the annoying spot right now. What can I put here? I don't really know. I guess I could just store some of the raw stuff. Do I even have an excess of raw things? I I don't really uh I don't really think I do. Maybe this should be an industrial storage. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just get rid of that. Put an industrial pile. And we can oh, You know what? I did it again. I always, always forget gears go in the warehouse. Because it's a finished product. Planks are an ingredient. <sighs> what a shame. That is such a waste. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're waiting for the planks. Now I'm going to uh, super prioritize this deep water pump. We get somebody pumping out here. I know we have the materials to build it. Let's just get this thing done higher out. See, I just, I need more beavers. Breed. Give me more beavers. Alright. Uh, you can do something else. Like building. Because we absolutely need builders. We need them quite badly. Oh, I just know that the drops are just going to keep getting longer and longer. And we're, we're, I wouldn't say we're unprepared, but we're not prepared. We're, we're just, we're just not prepared. That's uh, that's all there is to it. We got it. We got to get these water storages up. Gotta gotta get them up. We have these down here too that haven't even been uh, haven't even been filled. 
I, I thought we were going to be able to... That's a new sound. thought we were going to be able to get over these ruins and not today. That's going to be the next episode, whenever that is. I'm not quite sure if that's going to be... Uh, uh, I'd hate for that to be all the way on Tuesday, so we we might do another one on uh, on the Sunday video. I'm not entirely sure yet. But if we can get just a little more stored up, we're gonna we're gonna have everyone pull a, an all nighter here on the last night of the uh, the temperate season. They can do it. They they got away with it. Let's pause that. Pause this one should keep us pretty safe for a while. All right, come do your uh, come do your pumping for your uh, next point one hours, point one days. All right, what's our poison gonna be today? Twelve days. All right, so could be worse. The good news is we got our deep water pumps in the deepest water we have, which is currently too deep and we aren't pumping out of here anymore which is good because that would immediately kill all of our plants so we have water dump here we have a water dump here so our crops should asterisk survive i'm gonna just go ahead and plant some more soybeans here i think we're in pretty good shape we have we have housing now finally it's ugly but it, we have housing we have storage for food we have actually a decent amount of water I would like to have more, but I don't have enough gears to uh, do anything with the bigger ones yet. So we're going to have to just kind of be uh, content with what we've got. I don't have a hauler or anything yet, so I can't really distribute resources very evenly. But all things considered, I think we did pretty well. We're... Uh, we're, we're still hurting in a couple ways, and uh, having deep water is definitely one of them something we're gonna have to keep working toward i think the next step is going to be damming up this area here maybe come all the way down here to do that because that would give us if we can put levees on this side it'll give us a three deep over here and also a whole lot more volume we can just pump out of this instead of this area but that's going to have to be something we do next time because we are out of time as well as getting over here to the ruins and getting a little bit more stuff done now but hey we do finally have canola oil and we have our fermented soybeans well some of them because we don't have soybeans because they all died but we have been producing food we have a nice stockpile of food breeding is going very slowly but our life expectancy should be skyrocketing now that everyone has somewhere to sleep it tends to be kind of an important thing so yeah look at that we got a full plus one and so many of these other things except sleep which is 0.8 still but we're working on it hopefully soon we'll have enough population to actually do more research and unlock the uh i'm just gonna look and see what this is actually called hydroponic garden i always want to call aquaculture or something but we'll be able to unlock the hydroponic garden and get fermented mushrooms and algae and then later on coffee hopefully that gives them a nice speed boost too the caffeine yeah we, we got a lot of room to improve there's plenty plenty more to come with this series as we figure out exactly what's uh going to be the best course of action but i think for you know episode two we did pretty well having the mangrove fruits is nice and being able to slowly start to expand things is nice as well we just absolutely have to get more of these beavers born we probably should be putting in Another couple of breeding pods, but I don't want to grow too fast because that is the easiest way to ensure your colony is going to die. Is have way too many beavers, even if the even if you have stuff for them to do, if you can't support them with the food and the water, then there's no point. It is just a complete waste of time and effort. Anyway, that's enough of that. We got a lot of good stuff done today, and I'm very much looking forward to the next one, whenever that's going to be. Uh, hopefully. I will have scheduled a uh, live stream for some time this afternoon as of the posting of this video. We might try to revisit our drowned map, or we might end up playing City Skylines. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, keep an eye out for that probably sometime in the afternoon, Eastern Daylight Time. Of course, you'll see the uh, you'll see the planned scheduled video whenever that uh, or scheduled live stream, I guess rather, whenever I decide that's going to happen. 
schedule's been kind of weird the last couple of weeks, but I am doing my best to make sure that we have exciting and fun stuff to come. And there's some other fun stuff too. Like people keep emailing me with uh, all these new games to check out. I wish I had time to do all of them. I really do. But uh, I do have, believe it or not, a full-time job that is not doing this. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to find time to do stuff outside of the norm anyway. But I'm looking forward to continuing this and seeing what else we can squeeze in. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas for this playthrough or other playthroughs, you can always leave a comment below. I read every single one. I, I see you commenters commenting that I haven't taken off the 24-hour work cycle. We're going to do that right now. Now it's 18 again. You're welcome. <laughs> so again, if you have any anything at all to say, I drop a comment below. I read every single comment. I can't always respond, but I do read them, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day just to say hi or provide advice or feedback or tell me I'm a huge nerd or whatever. Hey, that's fine. I'm just happy you're here. So I look forward to talking to you there, and I look forward to seeing you in the live stream or the next video, wherever it is you show up. I'm thankful for you. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.